it going everybody thank you guys for watching the channel I want to talk about a UFO crash site today there is actually a UFO crash site in my hometown I've grown up in Aztec New Mexico my entire life and it always just blows me away how this is just not talked about um, so when you're coming in from any direction whether it's Albuquerque or Denver or California no matter how you come through Aztec or Farmington like anywhere this area there's not a single billboard sign nothing like not even at the turnoff to get to the UFO crash site is there a sign that says UFO crash site so this is always like just I don't understand that why city councils um, just the general public not public but like I don't know why they just don't promote that why area doesn't promote it because I feel like a UFO crash site is pretty pretty damn cool they're not very popular there's not like a lot of UFO crash sites in the country and so the fact that you can actually Google this one and it's documented and you go there and there's a plaque and everything um, I think it's pretty cool pretty special so in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to get there um, links to uh, the Aztec Visitor Center and then I'll take some footage and kind of show you guys what to expect when you guys get there whoa it's coming in hot okay so I just filled up at my first ser favorite service station and we are pulling out onto Highway 550 headed north to Durango Colorado just to give you guys some direction if you guys are an Aztec this is kind of what it's gonna look like when you're leaving Aztec so we just got out of the main kind of headed out of town Aztec New Mexico and headed north towards Durango Colorado there'll be a Dairy Queen up here on your right hand side and you're gonna stay on this for probably there's the DQ uh, maybe like five miles maybe five to ten mile ish let's see I'll, uh, I'll set my odometer right now from the Dairy Queen okay it was a little bit under five miles so we're looking like right at four miles there's a big Napa RV pops truck and RV Center right here mile marker 164 so at mile marker 164 not a single sign here that says anything about a UFO crash site. So you'll turn here, and this is County Road. There's not even a County Road sign. Oh, I think there was back there where we turned off. I'll research what the County Road is, and I'll put it on the on the screen for you guys. So don't go to the right right there. You'll just go up to some houses. Stay left, and you're gonna stay on this dirt road for probably another five, three to five miles. All right, so I'm about a mile down the road here and you'll see some Bureau of Land Management signs. This one on this side says, Your Public Lands Farmington Field Office. And then this one on this side says, Alien Run Mountain Bike Trails, 2.6 miles. So if you see those signs, then that means you're on the right track. So just stay on this road for 2.6 miles. But the next part, that the 2.6 miles, that's the important part for the UFOers. So if you're a UFOer and you're not a mountain bike, this is where it's important. We made it to the 2.6 miles down. And then this is the important part I was telling you guys about. When you get to this point, you'll see this sign right here that says Alien Run Mountain Bike Trails. You do not want to go that way. So if you go that way, down, turn at that sign, you're gonna see the parking lot that's on the screen right now. And that's where you don't wanna be unless you're wanting to ride mountain bikes. But if you're here to see a UFO crash site, I wouldn't recommend parking there because you're gonna have about a 10 mile hike and it's gonna be a long day. You're just gonna continue going straight down this road and I'll show you guys, uh, just stay straight. Anytime, so if we get to another important part, there is gonna be one Y and I'm gonna show you guys where that's at. At the last sign, I reset my trip, my odometer, and 
from the last sign, we are 3.5 miles. So you're gonna have to travel 3.5 miles, and at 3.5 miles, you're gonna see this fork in the road. You're gonna wanna stay to the left. Do not go right. Again, zero signage that there's a UFO crash site. So, just wanna point that out. You will not see a single sign that says UFO crash site. So I'll just keep recording and we're gonna kind of start going up this little hill. It's gonna wind a little bit. If you don't have four wheel drive on your vehicle, I probably wouldn't worry about being able to get out here. It's pretty, pretty easy driving. Uh, maybe avoid it if it's muddy, if it's been raining. There might be like one or two clay spots that can get a little slick, but we'll go check this out. So there's actually a little parking area up here. You'll cross a cattle guard here in just a minute. I uh, was talking to a couple of gentlemen from the local, um, from our Farmington Field Office, the Bureau of Land Management, and um, they said that they're actually wanting to build a parking lot out here, and then hopefully in the future, build a designated hiking trail for the, um, uh, for the UFO crash site. So I think that would be really cool, and I think that'd be exciting. I don't know when that'll happen, but it'd be cool. Right now you have to go down a mountain bike trail. Well, I mean, just equestrian too. It's not this, but I'm just saying there's mountain bike traffic on it. So it would be cool to, to have a, uh, a trail designated just for hikers who are coming out to check out the UFO site. So that's the, uh, the cattle guard I was telling you about. And so we're pretty much right here. There's beautiful views out here. The canyon's just absolutely gorgeous. Right here, You'll see the mountain bike trail actually crosses the road right here and goes up. And over here on my left hand side, you'll actually see the mountain bike trail right there. But you're gonna wanna pull up here. So don't don't continue down the road up there. You'll see this uh, weird little little deal. And you wanna cruise up here. It's gonna be kind of your little parking area for the UFO crash site. You can camp out here, this is all public land, so if you wanted to do some dry camping, you could. You can dry camp over at the parking lot too. Um, anywhere, anywhere out here. It's all public lands. I'll just park my truck facing south. So we're just gonna park south facing. And if you're up here and you wanna identify south facing, you'll see some towers way up there. They call that knickerbocker. So we're south facing here. So when you're out here, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's very peaceful. If you look off to the north, you can see all the San Juan, the Plata Mountains towards Durango, Colorado. Just the, the high desert in general is beautiful. There's actually a mountain bike trail entrance right there. You'll see that. That's for riders coming back in from what they call outer limits. And there's another car tonight there. So they're gonna ride along this and then go into those trees. You don't wanna go down that trail. You're gonna wanna come this way and uh, I'm just gonna leave my bike up here. Hopefully it's okay. There's nobody out here really, so I think it's fine because it's a pretty short walk. So the best way would just be walk back down this road. Walk back down this road that you drove up and you'll go onto the main dirt, dirt road. And I'll show you here. I'm just gonna keep this rolling and this camera rolling so that way you guys can get like a good visual of what it's like when you're out here. So this is the main road, and then you, you would have just drove up from this direction. And uh, this is where the mountain bike trail crosses. So you're gonna wanna go here on this mountain bike trail. See my truck up there? And you're gonna wanna get on this mountain bike trail. And this is gonna straight, take you straight to the UFO crash site. Um, probably less than like a half mile in the walk, maybe not even a quarter mile. It's literally just like down here in these trees. Again, not a single sign about UFO crash site. So you're gonna get out here and you're gonna be cruising. We'll do a little bit of trail work here while we're out here, move some rocks for these guys. We had some bad rains lately, so you can see here, really washed a lot of rocks down these ravines. Look, look at this mountain bike trail. This is usually a mountain bike trail, fairly rideable, it's thrashed. All right. So, um, <laughs> you're gonna be walking down this trail, like I said, and there's not gonna be no sign, zero sign of UFO crash site. 
the entire, like nothing. You're gonna even be telling yourself, dude, am I even, what? Am I even, is there a UFO crash site out here? Am I even in the right spot? Am I even, like, dude, nope. There's no way. There would have to be some kind of a sign that says a UFO crashed somewhere within the vicinity in which I am walking in because I'm pretty certain it's out here. But no, not the case. You're just gonna stumble upon it. You're just gonna be like, poof, right there. What? You're gonna turn a corner, poof, there's gonna be a UFO crash site. Okay, so we just walked down the hill. There's this little cow guard. This little cow guard right here. It's gonna tell you, stop, wrong way. A little pissant cow guard. I, had a, I was riding that, doing a, guiding a mountain bike rider the other day and he was calling those little piss ant cow guard. He's like, yeah, you know where that little piss, little piss ant cow guard is? It's pretty funny. So you come to this intersection. This is the first, still nothing about um, a UFO crash site. So that's Outer Limits Mountain Bike Trail. That's uh, just the Alien 10 Mile Trail. So you come down here. Don't go that way. So don't go that way gonna take you somewhere else you don't want to continue down this way again the views are beautiful and you're just gonna want to keep walking you're gonna stay on this for just a little ways we're almost there I kind of want to turn my camera off but I'm like I don't know yeah, I'll turn my camera off, so, and then once we turn this corner, we'll be there, but I'll sh just, just know, stay on this little trail. It's not very far. Trail's a little rugged, not bad. It's just um, some sand down in some spots. Beautiful scenery. This is overlooking the canyon you just drove in from, so that road, we actually drove in, drove down along the bottom, went around the top, So beautiful views out here. It's beautiful weather. Middle of August, middle of September. Damn, where did August go? That's crazy. All right, so it looks like we made it to the UFO crash site. <clears throat> Gonna come around this corner and boom, there it is. The UFO. So, an unidentified flying object landed right here. And the mountain bike trail continues that way. Uh, someone have like rearranged some rocks here or something. So that's kind of cool. We'll walk around it this way. I don't know what that's the shape of. Looks like a W, like a Wu-Tang W. That's, uh, I don't know what that is. So this is supposed to be an alien face. So that's kind of cool. Someone made a star over there. But let me double check this, because I think that is a Wu-Tang W. It's pretty funny if it is. So if they didn't mean to make a Wu-Tang sign, I'm gonna say they came really close <laughs> to making a Wu-Tang sign. That's awesome. <sighs> Kids these days, wild. Cool, and then here's our little plaque. Made out of stainless steel. Probably been here for a while. The recovery at Heart Canyon is what they call it.
And that's it. Sure is peaceful out here. So yeah, if you were to like get on, go to the, the trailhead like I was telling you guys, man, it's like a five mile hike out here. It's long, it's far. Uh, so yeah, highly suggest taking this route. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. Thank you guys all who stayed to the end. Really appreciate it if you like, subscribe, share this video. Um, but yeah, if you're ever in the Aztec area, come check us out. My wife and I, we own Sandstone Cycles in Farmington, New Mexico. So if you're looking for mountain bike tours, guides, mountain bikes, or anything mountain biking, let us know. I'll put my email in, uh, in the description below. And um, the city of Aztec, they also have, they actually do have, so I was kind of being mean to them earlier. Still am gonna be mean to them about not promoting this. But if you go to see at uh, the Aztec Visitor Center, she actually is really, really good at her job, and she has very good information about the area, whether it's the Aztec ruins, UFO crash sites, the hundreds of arches that are in this area. So that's another thing people don't know about Aztec, New Mexico, is there's tons of arches out here. We'll do some videos on those. Maybe I'll even get with Will Ann and have her show us where the more popular arches are. Uh, so yeah, check out the Aztec Visitor Center. That's a really good source of information. She's really good at um, helping tourists and to the tourism stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So I'll put some links in the description below and uh, there'll be a link to the City of Aztec website. They actually have some pretty good maps of trails. And I'll put a link to just a Google pin. I'll just drop a pin, paste that link into the description. That'll get you right to the parking lot where my truck is parked. And what else? Throw my contact info. You guys got any questions feel free to reach out don't hesitate at all love to help you guys get outside and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video love you guys